goal of this nano-human interfaces initiative is to create a whole new, exciting, highly visual way to interact with instruments of scientific discovery, uh, like this $5 million uh, transmission electron microscope behind me. This instrument generates a colossal amount of data. In an eight-hour session, the microscope can produce one terabyte of data. To put that in perspective, if one image is equal to one piece of paper, that represents about one megabyte. In an hour, the microscope will generate a pile of paper about 300 feet high. In eight hours, they'll generate a pile of paper as high as the tallest building in New York City. We're learning how to cope with vast amounts of data so we can solve some really big problems in science and discover more quickly and more effectively. And this really dovetails so well with the young generation of students that we have that grew up with all of these types of touchscreens and, and modern ways of interacting with technology that uh, we think it's a sort of perfect time to launch an initiative like this. A picture interacting with multiple sources of data in a super high-tech space where we're accessing data from many different tools like the microscope, testing equipment, computer models. This will be our theatre for scientific discovery, a space full of touchscreens and virtual and augmented reality where we're able to interact with and experience the data, touch it, feel it, talk to it. Uh, in order to create Buddy, we need partnerships. We're going to build a multidisciplinary team at Lehigh. We're also partnering very strategically with other universities, such as the Ohio State University, that bring complementary expertise to our program. And we're working very closely with some of our prominent alumni, like Dr. Al Romi, Chief Executive of the National Academy of Engineering.